Hello and welcome to this Map Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about using the cloud features in Map Pro. Okay, so I have a few um, sites already set up. I have a WordPress site and a Drupal site. And the first thing I need to do is uh, log into my cloud service. So I'm going to log into, I'm going to go to cloud here and log into my Dropbox. All you have to do is uh, click here. Um, I've already logged in, so uh, what's showing here is an allow screen. If you haven't logged into your Dropbox, um, you will first see a login screen and then you will see an allow screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and I will then be able to use the cloud features in Map Pro. Okay, so now I am uh, logged into uh, the Map Pro. I'm logged into my Dropbox and I can use the uh, Map Pro cloud features. First, I'm going to briefly go over some of the uh, settings you can change for your cloud, uh, Map Pro cloud uh, options. Um, you can encrypt your data before you upload. If you want to do that, you'll have to set an encryption key. I'm not going to do that in the screencast. Um, if you're not using Safari as uh, your default web browser, you may want to use this in-app web view. Uh, or you may uh, experience some problems when uh, switching accounts or authorizing. And uh, if you are, have um, bigger hosts uh, with lots of data, you can uh, check this checkbox to prevent sleeping during cloud activity. And here are a few explanations of what, uh, uh, what to see when you are using uh, the Map Pro Cloud uh, features. Um, the elephant logos in the toolbar menu bar are color green instead of gray or blue. Um, when cloud activity is going on, I will go over that or you will see that when um, we are uploading and downloading uh, from into the cloud. Okay, so now I'm logged into Dropbox and I'm now on my settings host tab here and uh, I am going to load something into the cloud. Um, first, of, first of all, uh, your uh, host table can be expanded now and you will see information here about loading, syncing uh, into the cloud and file size. So you can go back here at the bottom right and uh, compress this again and you will see your normal tabs. Down on the bottom here are your options, save to, load from, and delete from cloud. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Linking and uh, resolve name change I will go over shortly. But let's, uh, let's start with save to cloud. I have my WordPress site here, and I'm simply, I have nothing in my, uh, I've saved nothing to my cloud yet, so I'm just going to save this right now. And if I expand here, you will see that the cloud activity going on, you will see the uh, MAMP Pro Elephant is green, indicating that something is, uh, it is actually, um, cloud activity is going on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that uh, finish. And when it is finished, the uh, green elephant will turn to blue just as it has now. Okay, so now I've successfully saved my WordPress site to the cloud. Um, this, uh, uh, it is going to be saved when I save to the cloud. It is saved in uh, my user's username Dropbox apps Mant Pro um, folder. So here is a my WordPress site dot zip, which gets saved. It is the name of the host and it is zipped up and saved in this directory. Okay. So now I'm just going to, uh, use the load from, uh, load from cloud feature, even though it's the same site I just saved, but just for uh, demonstration purposes, if I go to that site, load from cloud, uh, it's gonna, I'm first going to be asked if I really want to replace the host data with the data from the cloud. It cannot be undone, so um, be careful with this uh, uh, in case you have um, have newer data on your machine than you have on the cloud. But loading um, from the cloud is uh, simple, and now uh, you will uh, I'll see that uh, uh, the uh, data from my Dropbox is going to be loaded onto uh, my local computer. And after you've done that, one additional step is you have to save, uh, since your host has now been changed, it has new data, 
you have to first uh, you have to save this uh, change to your hosts and you will have data from the cloud one additional note i want to add about um, loading from the cloud yeah you'll notice that when uh, i did the uh, load to cloud i was uh, given this um, uh, warning um, that it cannot be done. Additionally, it says here to be on the safe side, you could have a current backup or you could do a save to desktop before loading data from the cloud. So um, I just want to show you where this uh, save to desktop is. Here you can save uh, if you want to just make sure that your local data is saved in another place, you can quickly save it to the desktop and, and uh, before you load from the cloud. So that's an additional safety measure that you can do um, before loading data from the cloud. Okay, the next two things you can do with, the, uh, with your site is um, you can delete uh, from the cloud or unlink from the cloud. Um, delete is um, pretty self-explanatory. I'll go over it. I have my WordPress site here, and I'll just uh, uh, delete it from the cloud. Uh, okay, it's going to ask me to delete the host's data from your Dropbox and the delete will be lost to all computers using it. Files can only be recovered via Dropbox versioning function. So I'm going to delete that and you'll see on my Dropbox that my uh, WordPress site is now gone. Um, I uh, additionally had, had added here, uh, I'd linked my Dropbox, my Drupal site to uh, Dropbox as well and, and that is still uh, in the um, cloud. Um, what I can, uh, what I'm going to do now with this though is uh, I'm going to unlink it, and unlinking is just unlinking it from the Dropbox. And if I do that, it is no longer um, uh, attached to the cloud, but uh, the data is still here in my uh, Dropbox Apps MAMP Pro folder. If you were, for instance, on a other machine and you wanted to uh, recreate the host that you already saved to the cloud, you would simply have to uh, go here and add a new host. And in this drop down, you will have a list of hosts that possible hosts that you could link. So you'd simply have to fill this in here, create your host, and it would be linked. You would, however, have to um, still uh, load first load from the cloud to get your data to work on it. If you have changed the host name on another computer, uh, another Mac, which I have, um, I, on a different uh, machine, uh, changed the linked Dropbox host to my Drupal instead of my Drupal host, you will then uh, uh, get a warning here and you will be able to resolve a name change in, in um, um, Mant Pro. Um, okay, well, first of all, it's warning me that newer uh, data, data is available on Dropbox, which is, yeah, true in a sense. Uh, it's because um, the uh, uh, link, uh, the name of the host was changed. So it's just warning me uh, I should uh, update this. And what I'm going to do is if I go to uh, my Drupal site, I can now down here resolve name change. And this is exactly really what happened in this case. Um, the uh, warning message will uh, also pop up, that uh, warning message that newer data is available will pop up if you actually indeed have changed data and uploaded it as well. But in this case it is because the newer data is here is because of a name change. I'm going to resolve that name change and uh, change my host name from my Drupal site to my Drupal. Yes, I will now have a my Drupal site and I will be now linked, uh, relinked to my Dropbox. That's going to do it for using Dropbox in MAMP Pro.